Greetings, Grand Rising, good morning. Whatever time it is, wherever you're at in the world and whenever you're watching this, today I'm gonna to be taking you along for a little workout at the Calisthenics Park, after which I'll probably make some breakfast somewhere with a nice view. But first, gotta go grab some coffee because I forgot to get some at the grocery store and so I wasn't able to make any at home this morning. So I'm gonna go grab a cup at the coffee shop and that also works out because there's a farmer's market real close by and I wanted to grab something from there as well. So I'm going to take you guys along for that too. Let's go. So whenever I think of it, I like to bring a glass jar to the coffee shop to use as a cup. Today I got some raw milk and raw honey in there. I'll just have them pour the coffee right over that. And the main purpose for this is first and foremost because those disposable coffee cups are just a huge waste, but they're also paper. So they need to be lined with some sort of BPA or plastic lining to make them waterproof. And that's definitely leaching off into the coffee when they pour hot coffee over it. So I like to go with glass whenever possible. It's just much cleaner and it's also much less wasteful. So it's really just a win-win all around. Voila, coffee secured. Walking up to the farmer's market right now. Just left the farmer's market, picked up some local organic extra virgin olive oil and some raw carrots. So I can use both of these to make raw carrot salad, which helps the liver and the gastrointestinal tract detox and specifically eliminate things like endotoxins and excess estrogen, which just helps for overall health and hormone balance. All right, so I'm heading to the calisthenics park right now. Probably gonna start with muscle ups move on to some straight bar dips and then I'll probably do some parallel bar dips supersetted with chin-ups to get some nice antagonist training in work on a little push and pull as I mentioned in my last video the primary focus of my workout when I come to the calisthenics park is muscle ups and dips because those are two things that I can't do at home with the equipment that I have there so on our way right now and I'll check in with you guys when I get there Just arriving at the calisthenics park now. Looks a little, a little wet, but it's not gonna stop us. Got my resistance band, so I'm gonna start with a little warm up, warm up my shoulders, and then we'll jump into the workout. So one thing I like to do, not just to warm up, but also just to stretch is I'll do dead hangs. So I'll hang from the pull-up bar. Nice to open up my back, warm up the forearms, warm up the grips and get me ready for things like pull-ups and muscle-ups. Not a bad first set. Got seven. Was going for eight, but failed that last one. I usually take these to failure. Probably go for five sets total. Um, so four more, and aim for four to six reps per set. We'll see what I get.
was set number three. As you saw in that last one, I failed it and I started coming up kind of chicken wing. I just let it go because I don't really like to do those chicken wing muscle ups and force it at the end because that's how you get, that's how you injure your shoulders and your elbows. And that's not what we're trying to do here, obviously. We're trying to get stronger, trying to build muscle, not hurt ourselves. So I'll just call it quits. A couple more of those, we get to go. So that's it for muscle ups for today. Now I'm gonna move on to some straight bar dips, which I'll do on the same bar. So I will actually muscle up in order to get into position for the dip. I'm gonna do three or four sets of those, we'll see. And then I'll do P-bar dips, superset with chins. And that'll be it. Anyway, just finished up straight bar dips. Ended up doing five sets at 12 reps each just because that totaled a nice even 60 reps total. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my P-bar dips, super set of chins as I mentioned earlier, for a nice even 60 reps total of each. Complete. It's time to cook, cook some food and enjoy a nice view. Let's go. Normally I would actually use 
butter to cook my eggs, but I was running low and I had to save what I have for my toast. So, that was what it was. Tried to get this pan just right, so it's gonna be a little hot. be complete without raw milk and of course this has a little bit of maple syrup added to it as well like that we're done truly glorious if I may say so myself all right you guys that's gonna be it for today's video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you did be sure to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one